With the filming in the prison, you're not alone doing this? You have a camera person with you? Yes, and a sound person. And my co-producer uh, and someone asking the questions in Hindi. So ah. um, there were a team of, yeah, I think four of us in the room with him. And of course, there was a prison guard present throughout. Um, and, you know, there have been some ridiculous um, <laughs> accusations that I gave the rapist a script to read, to learn. Sixteen hours I interviewed Mukesh Singh. Really? Sixteen hours over three days. And, you know, all of these smear campaigns, this desperate, hysterical, pathetic attempt of some sectors of the community in India to not look in the mirror. You know, they'll do anything. Right. Well, and I know you said too that you thought that it would only be the rapists or men that were of a certain educational uh, group that would have this feeling, but you see from the film that one man says that many of the members of parliament have unconvicted rapes and that they've never really been challenged and it takes so long to to see the process through so this mindset yeah that says that men and boys are king they are the desired gender they have the entitlement and the power and girls and women are subordinate they are destined to be domestic slaves to be married off they don't need an education and they're unwelcome. The mother of Jyoti, and they are so enlightened, her parents, you know, yes. and the mother tells us at one point that when she had this little girl, she gave out sweets because she was so happy. And the, the people who came, you know, the friends and family who came to the, uh, the hospital, presumably, um, to, and, and saw her giving out sweets said, you're celebrating as if you had a boy. Why are you giving out sweets? I mean, literally, that is what they do. They don't celebrate the birth of a girl. So if you grow up as a boy, as a man, witnessing this, what in God's name do we expect them to go on to do and express in, in actions when they have this, this attitude bred into them? They're programmed, they're hardwired to know that a girl is of lesser or no value to them. And why are we surprised that they then go and commit these atrocious and hate-filled and heinous acts? We may as well give them a rapist's manual for their 11th birthday.